Hello! In this video, I am taking you along with me as I install drawer slides into my modified version of the Simple DIY Dresser from Anika's DIY Life. I'm using the Everbuilt Soft Close Drawer Slides. For your supply list, you need a screwdriver or a drill, a marking tool, a ruler, and a level. Another purchase you may need that's not listed in the instructions is wood shims. If you're looking for a quick overview of these drawer slides, the cost per set at Home Depot was just about $12. Based on the cost and the amount of effort it took me to install, I would classify this as one step up from the economy option. It serves its purpose, the drawers do open and close, and I saved myself 30 bucks on the ball bearing ones I really wanted. So I would call it a you get what you pay for option. There's one set of instructions for frameless cabinets and another for face frame cabinets. You need to figure out which one you have because you may or may not need to use the provided adapters. The question to ask yourself is, are your drawer faces going to be flush with the face frame or are they going to be resting on top of the face frame? My cabinet, which is really one side of a desk, is frameless-ish where the face frame is already almost flush with the inside of the carcass so you won't see me installing the plastic adapters. But my drawer faces will be resting flush with the face frame, not resting on top of it, which makes my project more in line with the face frame cabinet directions. Now let's go over the instructions. First, attach the drawer slides to the drawer. The slides create a little L-shaped shelf for the bottom of the drawer to rest on. This is a preferred feature for the hardware because it supports the weight of the objects in the drawer directly onto the slides. The drawer slide wheels go toward the back of the drawer. If there's a size difference between the slide and the drawer box you built, simply align the slides with the front. Repeat on each side and complete this step for each drawer in your project. Next, you're going to install the cabinet slides. For these, the wheel is to the front or the opening of your project. You'll need to measure from the bottom of the drawer front to the top of the drawer slide to determine where the top of the cabinet slide will rest on the face frame. Then measure the distance back from the drawer face to the beginning of the drawer slide you've already installed to determine the depth. I only needed to measure that depth of the cabinet slide since my drawer fronts are not attached yet. I'll just align them vertically once the drawers are installed. Install the first screw just behind that front wheel, then the next screw at the back of the slide, being sure to check that this cabinet slide is level. Install the middle one last and make sure that you don't cause the slide to bow. I want to pause for a minute here and notice I'm using tape to hold the cabinet slide at the distance and height I want it. This is a great option for solo crafters to keep your hands free for repositioning things and installing the screws. The next slide has the soft pull mechanism, but the installation process is exactly the same. Make sure this one is at the same height within the cabinet frame, is the same distance back from the face frame, and that it is also level when you install it. There needs to be exactly one half inch clearance between the drawer box and the frame too little space and they won't slide, too much and the drawer will just fall off the track. I found that I needed to adjust the width of the cabinet slides because my drawer boxes were a quarter inch too small for the cabinet I built. This is where the wood shims I suggested at the beginning come in. I uninstalled the cabinet slides and reinstalled them with wood shims behind them and the problem was solved. If it's not working, make sure you pull the spring forward and engage this little lever. At this point, we can test whether the drawer slides well. The first time you push the drawer all the way in, you'll need to engage the soft close spring. Give the drawer a firm push, then when you pull it out and close it again, the feature should work. If I had a do-over, I would invest in face frame sockets, where you can install the back of these slides straight into the back of your project. I've used those before and they take significantly less effort than this did, and they only cost a couple bucks. I hope this video was helpful and good luck on the rest of your project.